family. You're a living, breathing soul in this place. This place is like a mausoleum. Where is everybody? Well, let's see. Ted is out romancing the little Lockridge girl. Dad is at the hotel. Business, he said. And I'm having a little something before dinner. Join me? Oh, no. Hey, caviar. Look. It's late for Dad. Is it? I wouldn't know. Oh, come on, Mason. You know everything that goes on in this family. In fact, when I was in Europe, I'd be in the middle of a crowd and I'd look over my shoulder half expecting to see you there. Oh, how flattering. <laughs> Tell me something, Eden. I've been mildly curious ever since your dramatic arrival. Just why have you come back to Santa Barbara? Oh, I don't know, a little of this and that. Mainly because I was curious to see if anything had changed. And of course it hasn't. Quite an impressive gift you gave Dan. Airplane. However did you manage it? Sound financial planning, Mason. Oh, that's interesting. I wouldn't have thought that your style, especially after I found out that you borrowed from your trust fund. You know about that. Mm-hmm. Yes, indeed. None of your business, Mason. Well, it could be if one of your reasons for coming back was to get into the family business. That is your intention, isn't it? Actually, Mason, I hadn't really even thought about getting into the family business until you mentioned it right here and now. You know, Eden, I haven't missed you a bit. I would have never left this house five years ago if it wasn't for you. And yet you've returned, making one of the more impressive entrances in recent memory. Really? You liked it? Thought it might make you a little jealous. After all, I did steal a significant amount of your thunder. Well, I'm sure both our gifts were appreciated. Actually, Mason... I thought after you gave Dad that big piece of luscious Lockridge beachfront property, you and him would be like two peas in a pod. You guys seem more distant than ever. Another lesson learned, I suppose. Oh, really? What's that? That you can't rely on people in this old world. Not even family. I guess that means that Mason Capwell, super son, is thinking about uh, branching out on his own and breaking out of the family business? Oh, it could be, if I were certain that the family businesses wouldn't fall into the wrong hands. That is, unless the wrong hands were more capable than your own. <laughs> Are you implying by that remark that you're capable of such an undertaking? Not only capable, Mason. Competent and qualified. Oh, listen to you. You sound like Ted. Yet another capo with their head in the cloud. I'll get it. Hello? Santana? Uh, no, 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 he's not here. He said he was going over to the hotel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, why don't you do that? Sure. Bye. Daddy's girlfriend? Mm-hmm. She's uh, going to meet him at the hotel. You know, that's one thing I didn't really expect when I came home. Santana and Daddy. I, uh, really don't want to talk about that. You know, I don't understand that, Mason. No one in this family wants to talk about it. It's like we're supposed to stand around and act like it's some kind of stage he's going through. Well, let's hope it is. Otherwise, we'll have to deal with another stepmother. <laughs> Not if I have anything to do with it. You know, speaking of Dad, I saw his, uh, arch rival in town. Lytle Lockridge. Oh, and why do you have to bring him up? Well, I saw him at La Mesa today. He's very handsome for a man his age. Most likely his innate irresponsibility that keeps him that way. You know, relieving him of that beachfront property was a heroic gesture. Now it can be developed properly. Lockridges have been living off the fat of the land for too long. Mason, Mason. Look, I know how you love an audience for this type of thing, but I've got to get going. Oh, you going out? Yeah. Meeting someone. Hmm. Anyone I know? I'll let you know after I meet him. Good night, Mason.